Hi, this is John Federico with On Digital Media here at the Startup One Stop event uh, at Connolly's Irish Pub in New York City. Uh, we were supposed to have uh, elevator pitches in the elevator, but um, we're in the stairwell instead. The elevator's broken. And joining me uh, for a quick chat, of course, is Emily Lutzker from Open Invo. So, Emily, Tell us, uh, give us the, the, the quick pitch on what Open Invo is, and then maybe we can talk a bit about your business. Okay, so Open Invo, it's a marketplace for ideas. If you have an idea for a new product or service, but yet you don't want to do that uh, project yourself, you can upload it to me, and I'll find a buyer for that idea to either buy or license the intellectual property. So... If I have some IP, do you say what kind of vetting do you do of IP? Do I just show up with an idea, but it needs to be vetted, or do you vet that idea and whether or not I own the IP? How does that all work? So, so basically, you certify that you own the intellectual property or yourself. Um, also, we're not responsible if you if you don't. But most of the time, the companies will actually do some due diligence on you before they before they buy an idea. Sure. Our um, uh, our target for the uh, idea seekers are innovation and R and D departments of large. Corporations. Okay. So, so if I just have an idea in the shower one day and I decide, you know, this is a great idea, I should do something about it. And if I just come to you with that idea without it being, without researching the IP or anything like that, um, and put it up, will you take an idea like that, or do I need to have something more substantial to bring to you? Well, you, you can you can put you know just a one line about it up on the site. You know, we'll we'll take that. I probably won't be able to sell it. <laughs> Um, if you if you do more research, if you have drawings, if you have video, if you have photographs of it, you know the va the value goes up. That's how we value ideas. Sure, is how sure. is how developed they are, how big the market is, what the user will pay for the end product. So your your uh, your customers then, or I should say, your customer and my customer would be a large corporation. Yeah. So 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 basically, they're they're most of the large corporations. It might be an educational institution, a government institution, or it might, in some very rare cases, be an investor that actually wants to go into business but doesn't have a partner for something. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so then what happens in that instance where, I don't know, I post an idea and one of your investors says, wow, we should do business together, you know, let's start. How do you get then get compensated in that in that regard? Uh, also right. in the other, <laughs> Ash, I, I didn't ask you the first question, which would be, of course, would be if someone buys my idea. So let's start there. Right. If someone buys my idea, how do you and I get compensated? Right. So so I do my best to get you the best price okay. because I take a commission on it, which is a, a percentage of the of the sale price. Sure, sure. So I take a percentage of the of the sale, or if it's licensed, I take a commission on that license. So that's uh, one way that it that it works. Okay. If there's a partnership that's formed, then uh, then in the best cases, I take equity in that new company that's that's formed. So it's yes, um, a good case, yes. Right, exactly. So that would be that would be kind of wonderful for Open Invo. Is then we have assets in a bunch of different companies that that we put sure. together, you know, and uh, and then there's no money that comes out of your pocket for it. You know, it's just a kind of um, right because uh, there's an equity arrangement and exactly. therefore there's no cash exchange. Exactly, and of course we don't take the same kind of percentage, you know, for a cash exchange, you know, as in a, uh, an equity sure. deal. Sure. So how 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 long have you been doing this, and how did you how did you you know think to I mean what in your background drove you to, to start this business? Right, I had too many ideas. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's the perfect answer, isn't it? Okay. So uh, so so basically, I had too many ideas for for new products and services, and all my life people said, "Why don't you do that? That's a great idea. Why don't you do that? That's a that's a great idea." I said, "I don't want to be the owner of that business." I, I was an artist. I, I did sculpture and, and video and performance work. I had oh, a wow. thriving art career. I was also teaching, uh, I, so I had my academic career on top of that. I, I didn't want to, you know, sort of be the be the owner of a new ad tech or or whatever it else it was that sure. I that I thought of. So I was having this conversation with my now co-founder. And, uh, and I said, well, how can I make money off of these ideas that I have? What's out there? You know, is there any way to protect them? And then one day he looked at me and said, let's have a business out of selling ideas. And I said, that can't be done. You know, and, uh, and so it took a, a lot of research and um, uh, talking to intellectual property attorneys, mm -hmm. finding out what companies were looking for in terms of innovation to actually come up with the, with the whole system that we have in place. Very cool. And how long have you been doing this? So uh, that initial conversation started over two years ago. Okay. And the company was formed uh, just a year ago and the first uh, public beta of the site went up in the fall of 2010.
Oh, congratulations. Thank That's you. Awesome. Thank you. So you said, um, you, you, one of the things you had, you took an assessment of is the kinds of ideas that companies are looking for. Yeah, without, of course, giving any, 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 giving away any trade secrets or, or um, anything that might be proprietary in any way, just general trends. What are they looking for? So different kinds of companies are, are looking for, for different kinds of products. It could be that a kitchen gadget company is looking for new kitchen gadgets. It could be that a media company is looking for new content, new properties uh, to launch television shows for, or radio shows for, or comic books for, something like that. Mm -hmm. Sure. It could be that a bank is looking for software solutions, or new ways to do banking, or some way to, to make waiting on the line at the bank more interesting. Okay. Um, it, it could be anything from a travel company looking for the future of the hotel. Very interesting. Okay, so so it could be anything from it could be anything from products to business methods to uh, but let's see. Let's take uh, new new modes of customer service. Uh, so it could be a variety of things, and really. I mean, it's re all over the map. Really, anything you can you can think of. And and we believe that um, that real innovation comes from a cross pollination of fields. So we actually promote that. I, I mean, basically, you know, imagine bringing something from the music industry to the hotel industry. Now sure. that would be innovative. Absolutely, absolutely. And have you? Well, I say this all the time. Have you ever read? You must have. Have you read or listen to, I'm an audiobook guy, uh, Stephen Johnson's Where Good Ideas Come From? I have. Oh my I God. have, and I, and I heard him speak at the New York Public Library. He's, uh, okay. he's wonderful. Yes, well, what a great book. And, and as yes. you just, the, the quick, you know, synopsis is that there, he advocates very much for uh, the cross-pollination of ideas across disciplines, so I would say. So uh, it's a wonderful book. So yes. that's why having, having been an artist and an academic, you know, coming into the business innovation uh, uh, field, you know, I think gives me a kind of advantage in that. Sure, sure. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, what, what's coming up? What do we need to look for? So first of all, where do we find you? So you find me at www.openinvo.com. That's I-N-V-O, like innovation, information, invitation. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> all right. And um, you, you, you find me there. The site is fully functional, and, uh, and we've got collaboration tools that we'll be rolling out soon, as well as uh, in the future, we'll be able to host online brainstorming sessions right there on the platform. Excellent. And where can people learn more about you? Tw are you on, let's oh. say, the Twitters or the LinkedIn? You'll find that? me at OpenInvo on uh, Twitter. You'll find me at LinkedIn slash in slash Emily Lutzker. Okay. And uh, you'll find OpenInvo on Facebook as well. Excellent. Thank you, Emily. I, pre I appreciate it. Uh, so this is John Federico for On Digital Media at the Startup One Stop event with Emily Lutzker. Thank you, Emily. Thanks, John.